Hey, Rob here, a response review on an extremely somber note, 50 perish, 50 dead Russian jetliner. My God, first of all, my condolences to anybody in that region, their family first, people that are grieving and mourning. Just a horrible, horrible tragedy. And, you know, I came on here, obviously, as a minister of the gospel to talk about the topic of eternity. Certainly nobody boarded that plane that day and they ever thought that this would be their last day on the earth and that they would slip into eternity today. You know, most people don't think about eternity. Most people don't think about the afterlife. Is heaven real? Is hell real? As a minister of the gospel, my concern is always about the topic of eternity because eternity is not a billion years. It's not a billion times a trillion years. Eternity is without measure. And the reality is, is we're all going to take our last breath one day. And when we do, either the elevator goes up to life insurance to heaven or it goes down to the basement to a place where Jesus Christ himself taught about in the Bible called Hell. The only way you can have the assurance and the insurance that when you take your last breath that you will make heaven your home is by having your life surrendered and submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And, you know, God comes by invitation only. He'll never not crash or blow the door down to your heart. God's not a party crasher. God gave us a free will so we can accept Christ out of obedience or reject him out of disobedience. In other words, God has to honor your free will. God didn't create robots. I promise you one thing though, once you open your heart to the love of God, the unconditional mercy of God, the love of God, you will never be the same because the Bible is very clear about the love of God. In the book of John chapter 3 verse 16 simply states, for God so loved the world, that's me, that's you, he gave his only son that if you would believe, surrender, submit, your life to the Lordship of Jesus, you would not perish. You'd have everlasting and eternal life. And desire to recite a simple prayer to me, say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. God bless you if you prayed that prayer. Heaven applauds you. Angels are throwing a party. By the way, you desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Go for it. And also under the search, Rob would one by YouTube. I have many other ministry videos where I do elaborate, I talk about the Bible, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. Again, 50 people perish, a Russian jetliner, so sad. My God, my prayers go out for anybody that lost anybody and people that are just grieving and mourning just this horrible, horrible tragedy. Remember, Christ loves you. God proved it by sending his only son. Be blessed. The Lord loves you today.